In this video, we're gonna talk about trademark versus copyright. I'm gonna show you some things, so let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about legal, business, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about trademark, copyright, and other intellectual property. In this video, we wanna talk about trademark versus copyright. Yeah, thing is, I know you saw a lot of videos about this. Maybe you don't. But the thing is, it's really easy. It's easy for you. It's difficult for me. You understand what I mean? No? Let me explain to you. The thing is, when you talk about trademark, there are a lot of things that you need to consider. When you talk about copyright, there's also a lot of things you need to consider. But if you look at the basic, the basic of both rights, there's really a difference and the difference is simple one you have to register to get it one you don't that's simple if you have to choose between copyright and trademark choose only trademark if you have deep pocket you see how simple it is but now it will get complicated so if you look at the, the drawing board we have line this is T for trademark and C for copyright. I'm not going to discuss the different or, or whatever. We're going to focus only on one thing. This you have to register to get it. You have to follow the whole process. I will make another video about that. This, you just make it and you have it. As long as it's unique and you meet the requirement in the law. But here, one of the requirements is you need to register. And it happens to be everywhere there because here, on the trademark, you have a general database where you can find all the trademark. I also made a video about that. You can uh, look it in the playlist. So where you will see where you can look some trademarks are. For copyright, you don't have that. And someone can claim a copyright, but they need to prove that they are the copyright owner. But when you have a trademark, you don't have to prove anything. It's already registered. That's why you need to follow the whole process. You understand the difference? You will see a lot of video about that or oh, a trademark protect you for this copyright protect you for this doesn't matter if you meet the requirement for a trademark you have a trademark if you meet the requirement for copyright you have copyright it depends on your need but you're saying hey, alex okay i do not know what i need yeah that's logic that's uh that's that's normal thing is look at this way if you're creating logos for your clients just say, hey, I have copyright on those things. If you want to have those rights, you have to pay me three times more. If you create, a, let's say, a game, and you, um, in fact, you thought about a really good name for that game, then you need to consider, okay, that's the name for the game. Maybe I should register, or maybe I should do some research if someone already used that name for my game. You understand what I mean? And that's the big difference. It depends on the situation. If you're on rider, copyright might be for you. Trademark doesn't help you really well unless you have a unique name or you, uh, you have a company and you want to register the name. And we're going to go to the second part. If you have a company and you want to register the name, do that. But I would advise you to do it after six months because you need to know if your company are getting is working or not. Otherwise, you are wasting your money. I don't like you wasting money. I don't like wasting money. Do you like wasting money? You understand what I mean? So, trademark versus copyright, it's not really that interesting. It can be complicated when you have interest in both. What I mean by that is sometimes it's good to register a trademark, but sometimes it's also good to say, hey, I have copyright on it, and you don't need to trademark. And for example, with the logo, if you have a logo, you can register as trademark, but if you make a logo for someone else, doesn't mean um, you are allowed to register as for trademark. What I mean by that is it depends what kind of um, appointment you made with someone. Let me give you an example uh, so you can understand, so we can be on the same level. So, um, yeah. So this is. Uh, this is company is saying to a uh, designer, hey, listen, I need a logo. Can you design a logo? Designer say, yes, I can design a logo. 
I have copyright on the logo, right? So it, it's it uh, when you design something on the logo, you automatically have copyright. See one of my past video about copyright. That's simple. But, but, what if they do not pay you? And you send them, uh, let's say, a copy of the logo, and they start using it. You can think about, okay, maybe I can register as trademark for the products or services that they're using. I don't think it's gonna work. But if you register and you get a trademark for it, so for the products or services, you can sue them for using it without your permission. But it's hard. The reason why, because this is, an, uh, this is something that can be really complicated because who was first? Can you prove you were first with the copyright? And with the copyright alone, you can already get a lot from them. You don't need to register. But if you have, a, this is another situation, huh? but if you have another situation where the name is important, you can register a trademark or the name and the logo, the combination um, of those two is important, then you can get a trademark. You need to meet the requirement. But in this case, this situation can make things complicated. And that's why a lot of people think, hey, I need to think about, do I need to register a trademark? Do I need to put a copyright? No, you already have a copyright on it. Don't focus too much, rather just claim your copyright when someone uses it. Just make sure you put in a contract, hey, listen, if you use my logo without my permission, you have a problem. If you want those rights, buy those rights. If you need those kind of contracts, feel free to contact me on Discord. I will see what I can do for you. But this situation can make things complicated. And that's why people think about, okay, do I need to have a trademark or do you have a copyright? And you see a lot of videos out there, they explain what copyright is and what trademark is. Good job. But the situation is, People are doubting, okay, I need to choose one of one of them. No, you need to choose only one because one you already have, copyright you already have. You need to decide if you're going to register a trademark or not. It's that simple. In this video, I just show you the difference when people have to make a choice. If you have question about this or if you have trouble with deciding what you should do or what you shouldn't do, go on Discord and ask me. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you want to learn more about these things and other things about uh, intellectual property, legal, and business, feel free to subscribe. If you have questions about these things or anything related to intellectual property, legal, and business, feel free to contact me on Discord, and I will see you in the next video.